Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a photo into urban wall art. This is an update of a tutorial I did quite a while ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. This update is more streamlined and effective. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, click that small subscribe button at the lower right corner to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. I provided this brick wall that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is in my video's description or project files. The first step is to create a displacement map of the brick wall, which will conform our subject to the contours of the wall. To do this, first, click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and click Duplicate Layer. Open the Destination Document list and click New. Name it Displacement and click OK. This creates a separate document of the brick wall that we name Displacement. Desaturate the colors by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. We'll increase its brightness by pressing Ctrl or Command L to open the Levels window and in the Input Highlights field, type in 200. Since displacement maps look best when they're slightly blurred, go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 3 pixels. Save it by going to File, and save as. Click your desktop and name it Displacement. Save it as a Photoshop PSD file and click Save. Since we saved the displacement map to our desktop, we can close this document. Open a photo of someone or something that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. We'll separate our subject from its background by making a selection around our subject. There are many ways to do this, and I cover them all in my tutorials. However, since this image has a solid color background, I'll use the Magic Wand tool. Choose the tool that works best for your image. If you're using the Magic Wand tool, make the tolerance 10, and make sure contiguous is checked to prevent the inside of your subject from being selected, and then click on the background to select it. To check your selection, press Q to see it as a quick mask. Revert it back into a selection by pressing Q again. We'll cut and copy the subject onto its own layer, but first we need to invert the selection so our subject is selected instead of the background. To invert the selection, press Ctrl or Command Shift I. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy our subject onto its own layer. We'll place our cutout subject onto the brick wall background by pressing V to open our Move tool and dragging our subject onto the tab of the brick wall document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To resize it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner of the Transform's bounding box and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. If you're using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. Then press Enter or Return. Position it right of center because when we angle our entire image later, our subject will appear to be centered. We'll convert our subject into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Paint Daubs. Make the Brush Size 5, the Sharpness 11, and the Brush Type Simple. We'll add another filter by clicking the New Effect icon, which will duplicate the existing filter. Click the lower effect and click Palette Knife to change it. Make the Stroke Size 3, the Stroke Detail 3, 
and the softness 5. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. Make the horizontal and vertical scales 5, stretch to fit, and repeat edge pixels. Click the displacement file that you saved and click Open. Immediately, our subject warped to conform to the contours of the brick wall. Change its blend mode to Overlay and make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Change its blend mode to Soft Light. We'll place both layers into a folder by shift clicking layer 1 and pressing Ctrl or Command G. Make a copy of the folder and reduce its opacity to 40%. Next, we'll weather our subject by revealing the brick texture through it. First, place these two folders into another folder by shift clicking the bottom folder to make it active as well and pressing Ctrl or Command G. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. I'll move it over so we can see the subject. We'll make our subject look weathered by using the Blend If feature. Blend If uses luminosity to blend layers together. The slider bar that's labeled this layer is the active layer, which is our subject, and the slider bar that's labeled underlying layer is the layer below the active layer, which is the brick wall. By dragging the black underlying layer to the right, it pushes the darkest pixels of the brick wall through our subject. Conversely, by dragging the white underlying layer to the left, it pushes the lightest pixels of the brick wall through. We can create smooth transitions by alt-clicking or option-clicking the middle of the triangular icon, which splits the icon in half. Dragging the inside half of the icon toward the middle of the bar creates a smooth transition. The further you drag it, the smoother the transition will be. For this particular image, I'll split the icon of the darkest pixels of the underlying layer and drag the right half to approximately 128. I'll drag the icon of the lightest pixels of the underlying layer to 217 and split it. Then, I'll drag the left half of the icon to 180. If you want to make the darkest areas of your subject less dense, split the icon of the darkest pixels in the This Layer slider and drag the right half to the right a little bit. The bricks will show through those areas a bit more. Next, we'll add a soft dark gradient on the left side of our image, which will create depth once we angle our wall in perspective. Make a new layer. Change its blend mode to linear burn and reduce its opacity to 50%. Open your Gradient tool and make sure the Linear Gradient icon is active. Click the Gradient bar to open the Gradient Editor. Click the black-white box and the lower left Stop. Click the Color box to open the Color Picker and in the hexadecimal field type in 80 three times to give us a 50% gray color. Click OK on both windows to close them, or you can press Enter or Return twice. Go to the left side of your document and press and hold Shift as you drag your tool to the middle and release. Holding Shift kept your tool horizontal. We'll convert all the layers into one smart object by Shift clicking the background and clicking Convert to Smart Object. We'll angle our entire image in perspective, but first we need to zoom out a bit to give us more room. To do this, press Ctrl or Command and the minus key on your keyboard. Go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Go to the upper right corner of the bounding box and drag it up until your image is angled to your liking. Then press Enter or Return. To fit your document back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command-0.
This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.